Take a look at this big screen behind me. How cool is that? Mambo, one of Australia's most iconic brands, bringing music, surf, politics and art into streetwear fashion. And to celebrate the brand's 30th birthday, I know, the National Gallery of Victoria is launching an exhibition showcasing the best of the much-loved label. We're joined now by Mambo's managing director, Angus Kingsmill. Angus, good morning to you. Gee, 30 years, it's flown by. It certainly has, Carl. Yeah, it's been a uh, fantastic ride. Do you know, uh, I most remember um, in the, um, well, it was in the 80s, I remember Dad having a lot of Mambo shirts, and, uh, and then I got a few as I, as I went into year 12 and whatnot. Um, but I just remember it was such an iconic um, a bit of artwork. How did it all come about, Mambo? Uh, well, the original founder, Dare Jennings, just thought the, the, the fashion market uh, was a, a bit boring at the time. Everything was all about logos and patterns, and um, Mambo was the first brand in the world to uh, uh, contract uh, freelance artists. Uh, so when you buy a Mambo t-shirt, you, uh, you're actually uh, buying a piece of machine washable art mm. and with a bit of humour and uh, Australian larrikinism thrown in. Now so, the Man yeah, it's very unique. The Mambo dog was the one that I, I, I most distinctly remember um, back in the day. Um, and <laughs> see, it still makes me laugh. I'm a simple bloke, really. Um, but but you surprised by the success of it? Uh, by the success of the, the, yeah. the farting dog. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> uh, that, that, uh, that joke never dies with the uh, male of the species, does it? That's so, true. Uh, yeah. But so, so many iterations of that uh, one great design by Richard Allen. Uh, we've lit the fart. It's uh, blown up Marilyn Monroe's dresses. It's, uh, it's been everywhere. So, um, <laughs> yeah, and it keeps selling at, by the truckload. Well, there you go. It's, um, you can't mess with, with perfection. Also, over the years, um, it's fair to say Mambo has got involved in some, uh, some, well, some political mo politically motivated pieces of art, haven't they? Yeah, we certainly have. Um, uh, Mambo's never been shy to make uh, a, a social comment. Uh, a couple of the famous ones have been uh, the, the Rednecks t-shirt, which was uh, uh, a response to what we thought was Pauline Hanson's fairly ignorant and narrow-minded politics at the time. Mm. Uh, and the proceeds, which were $110,000 uh, from that t-shirt, went to NASDA, which is uh, an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander uh, youth development group. Oh, so, brilliant. yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you? How did you decide? And is it difficult to to decide on what becomes the subject matter? Uh, not really. We we pretty much put it out to um, a, a bunch of talented artists. There've been over 250 uh, Mambo artists at the time, so they've all got their own opinions and things and. Uh, uh, anything we think is a, a, a good social comment that doesn't take itself too seriously and, and has a bit of a laugh at itself, we'll, uh, we'll whack on a t-shirt and, and uh, push out to the public. Well, I reckon it's great, Matt. You would have noticed that the, that the brand's made it, making a bit of a comeback of late. I know one of the camera boys who's especially cool said all the cool kids are starting to wear Mambo again. He's all over it, that camera guy. <laughs> he is? Yeah. <laughs> he is no, all over it. That, <laughs> That's, uh, you know, that's, that's right, we're, um, we're, we're building back up in Australia and we're, we're taking the brand globally, so it's uh, well, really man. tracking well. Global well, you know what, I'd love to see Australia, Australian brands and iconic ones um, doing fabulous stuff. Uh, well done to you on 30 years and the exhibition um, is, is going ahead to all the details on our website and uh, look, our cool cameraman is definitely going to be there. Thanks so much, Carl. You're a legend. Thanks, mate. Thanks, buddy. Anytime.